Hey y'all, this is Brittany Giselle and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. When do I not say that? I'm so excited. Every time I come to record a video, I'm always super excited because I don't do it every day. And when I do it, I really like have to amp myself up to get it done. Um, it's just, it's a process. It really is a process. If you're a YouTuber, then you would know. Anyways, that's not what we're talking about today. As you can see by the title, we are talking about a Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. Okay, this thing, I waited a little while. I was just, I anticipated on getting it. I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. But before we get into that, and before I forget, if you're new here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below. Comment down below and let me know that you're new here, new to the fam, that you're joining us, that you're fresh, you know, that you, you're still trying to figure out what's going on over here because we have like a little mixture of things going on over here. Also, check out my Instagram. My Instagram, I'll put it down on the page. It's also down in the description box with a direct link to check out my Instagram. Make sure you hit that follow button when you're over there. Um, there are links to my TikTok and all that other good stuff. But in the meantime, cars are rude <laughs> in the meantime let's get into the video today we're going to be talking about the mark jacobs the tote bag but it's not just a regular tote bag i'm sorry to say it. it's not okay and let's unbox it first let's start by unboxing it then we'll talk about the bag here is the box okay this big old box that it came in i'm gonna turn it a little bit you know I did open it and I did take a peek at it, but I didn't actually take it out of the bag. It comes like this same Marc Jacobs on the inside is black. I like that it's black and white. It's just a nice sleek look. Chill. <laughs> All right, so it comes with this envelope. And in the envelope, it just comes with, let's see, what was this again? It says, thank you for shopping at Marc Jacobs. Please visit, visit Yo My Spanish X and be coming out. Thank you for shopping at Marc Jacobs. Please visit us again at www.markjacobs.com. I got to say it slow. Or at one of our stores. Okay. So, in the envelope... <laughs> comes my receipt yep so it's my receipt and then just a return label if I needed to return it for whatever reason so that's what's in this cute little thing here and let's get into this bag baby <laughs> the bag I had to throw that on the floor because it's in the way and yes I'm on the floor today this was just what seemed to be the most comfortable and convenient today it just is but let's get into the bag baby yes i got the tote bag in the jacquard style so this color is warm sand and it is in the small style let's go ahead and open it up open it up open it up i can't sing it's don't judge me I gotta be careful with my makeup. I don't want to turn in my bag already. She, all right, look at her. Okay, she popping or whatever. So, let's talk some details. This bag retails for, let's move over a little bit so she could be right here with us. This bag retails for $2.95. I got it off of the Marc Jacobs website. Let's open up the inside. As you can see, I did not open her up yet. Um, again, this is in the tote bag, the jacquard style. So jacquard is, um, so it's like the fabric of the bag itself, but so it's like a little stiffer, um, and not the regular tote bag material. So I, I, from my research, it was a little stiffer. It comes with a little tag back here. So on here it says it is in the color warm sand. It's the number 263. Uh, it doesn't have the size and then suggested retail price is $2.95 which is the amount that I paid for it. Let's go ahead and open her up. All 
right, all right, all right. I told you guys I have not opened her up. So, so excited. So here is the strap. Now, one thing that I did not like about, I love this style and I wanted it. I did a lot of research before I got it. Um, it was between this one and one of the other tote bags, but honestly, I liked this color a lot more than like the khaki or like the other tannish color that they had. I really, really liked this color and I just liked that it was different, but that's why I went with it. It was a little pricier. There is another one I have my eyes on. It's a gray, like a wool. It's beautiful. But anyways, I love me some gold hardware. I am a gold girl all the way and the hardware on this is silver. But um, I know you can get straps, so I can remove this strap if I wanted to and get something else. So this is the strap that comes with it. It is adjustable, so if I wanted to make it, you know, longer or shorter, it has that part on there. And then this to clip it on the other side. Um, what I was saying about the strap, I can swap it out with another strap if I wanted to. So I am going to look to see, I know Marc Jacobs has a lot of other straps. Um, I'm going to hopefully... I'm gonna look and hopefully find one that has gold hardware on it. I don't know how lucky I'm gonna be to find a strap with gold hardware, but we'll see. If not, then there are plenty of other um, brands out there that sh that sell straps with gold. That's enough about the strap, because we, we wanna know about the bag, the tote bag itself. So let's keep getting into it. So, got some paper, we got some more paper. Oh, okay. If you know what these little things are for, please let me know because I swear I can't stand these things. They be all over the place. Alright, so you can see that the bag is sewn. This is on the other side of the bag, the inside. I'm looking at this paper to protect it, I guess, and to help it keep its structure. And I see one on the other side as well. Now, I need to be careful with my face because if I get makeup on my brand new bag without wearing it, I'm gonna be pissed okay so <laughs> the small size so there is the mini small and then just tote bag if I'm I think I think I think I think if I'm not mistaken I think anyways I got the small I know what size I got I don't know about y'all I got the small do your comparison like I did <laughs> this is so they say that this in the small you can actually fit um, a MacBook so we're gonna test it out we are we're gonna get there just give me a minute the pockets so it does come with a zipper pocket on the inside oh there's a there's a little card in here okay so zipper pocket and then it has two other like slide in pocket compartments so like if you want to slide your phone in there you know whatever um, and then I still got some like this protected stuff on the rest of the hardware to get off but let's see what this little I believe that this is the um, this is the care instructions in here let's open it up Mark Jacobs Reminding me of like a little perfume pouch or something. All right, this is different languages. This Marc Jacobs product was crafted using unique materials. We recommend this product be handled with special care to make sure your bag or small leather good remains beautiful as long as possible. We recommend when not in use, stuff and store this accessory. Oh, okay. So I'm actually gonna keep these so that when I'm not using it, I will. Um, stuff these back in there to help it keep its structure that's good see it's important to read directions y'all what else does it say avoid contact with any water or oily substances we do not recommend the use of cleaning products on your handbags please avoid ink marks oil stains and permanent dyes as they are not removable thank you for that all right and then this says the materials that the bag is made out of the natural canvas material on your bag is meant to break in and wear with use. Anytime elapsed, variants should not be viewed as a defect, but rather the beauty of a customized product. Okay, Mark Jacob, you're going to make me cry. The care instructions, I'm actually going to keep with my receipt so I know where everything is. So what other details shall we talk about the bag? Again, this is in the size small. I said that it comes back here. I know a lot of people have shown this already. Oh, it is magnetic. Okay, so like this part right here 
if you open your bag so that this isn't like hanging around all over it is actually a magnetic so it sticks there like I can feel the pull which is really cool so it's not just hanging and sticking out and getting messed up and dirty and all that so I do like that now let's put it to the test let's see what I can fit in here um, we're gonna start with the MacBook we know the MacBook can fit but let's see what else we can get in this bag I'll be right about it I'm back okay so I not only got my MacBook and I have the MacBook Air and I believe it's like 13 inches or so. If you're really, really interested, I have an unboxing of my MacBook. You wanna go check that out, you know, show your girl some love on there. I'll, I'll link it up above so you can check that out if you're interested and you'll figure out what MacBook I have there. But I not only put my MacBook in here, but I put it in its case and put it in here and as you can see it's a little fluffy because it has my mouse pad my mouse some wires and we can get it in the bag and I did get it in there um, and I would say it fits pretty comfortably I have my AirPod Pros I'm gonna stick in one of these little things here that fits in there good my phone all right, I have the 11 and that's fitting in there good. And then I also brought a bottle of water. So we're gonna stick that in there and that fits in there good. Let's see what else we can fit. My sunglass case. I have my purse. Let's empty out my purse and see what else we can get in there. I got my wallet. I might need my Tylenol in case I get a little headache, which I do. So I'm putting my Tylenol up in there. What else, what else, what else? A little lip gloss. If you couldn't tell by now, I am not minimal whatsoever. Oh, I got my little credit card grabber. I see that, isn't that so cute? I got this from Stasia Rose Boutique. I will definitely go ahead and leave her Instagram and her um, website because this comes in handy. And if I'm taking, if I'm stepping foot outside of my house to go anywhere that I'm gonna need my card, I'm gonna need this. So yeah, go check her out. So this I can put in the pocket next to my AirPods. Oh, it got a little heavy. <laughs> All right, it's heavy, I'm tripping. Everything's in there, it's stuffed up. So, true test, can I close it though? Can I zip it? Look, even when I zip it, I still have all this extra space. So yes, I can definitely zip it. I wanted to talk about the, there are a lot of places, about the price. There are a lot of places to purchase this bag. Everywhere I've seen it, I saw it for $2.95, the retail price. Whether it was um, Saks Fifth, Nordstrom, I think it was sold out at Nordstrom. Um, so I decided to get it from Marc Jacobs website itself. Now I did go ahead and I used Afterpay. I have all of those like split in four payments that you can possibly think of and I do use most of them. Even when I have the money, I just want to feel like it's there. I can use it if I need to, you know, whatever. I don't know what's going to come up in the next couple weeks. So I'm splitting my stuff up in four payments. That's just me personally. So um, this was a, one of the bigger purchases. So I really enjoyed that I could, I really liked that I could do that with this bag. So my first payment, it was $2.95 split into four. It was about like 73 and some change. So like right under $75 for the first payment. The second payment is coming out shortly. And the bag came in about, I'd say like a week and a half and it took about five to six days for me to get my um, shipping information. I will be back at some point in time with a review just to talk about how it's holding up. If you guys have any questions that I should keep in mind um, while I'm putting it to use that you want me to, you know, to answer in the review, definitely go ahead and leave those questions down below because I will definitely be willing to answer those questions and keep those thoughts in mind. Um, yeah, anything else that you might want to know about this bag? I'm happy with my purchase. I got my bag, so I'm excited. I couldn't wait to do this unboxing with you all just to show you, just to talk about the bag. If you have any questions for you guys, you know, to let me know what questions you have, 
I'm definitely going to keep tabs on this video so that I can answer any of those questions. Come back with a review in the future. I'm thinking maybe like either a three month or a six month review. Let me know what you're interested in. Like how far down do you want a, a review of this bag on? Um, yeah, so that's all I have. I'm so excited. I'm going to get to use my bag. This is heavy. <laughs> so, thank you all so much for tuning into my video. If you haven't yet, please make sure that you like this video. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Check me out on all my socials, my Instagram. Everything is going to be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.